Hey there, my fellow Canonites. Welcome back to Halo Canon. Um, basically, welcome to the 1,000 subscriber special, sort of. I didn't really have time to really... I didn't really know what to do for this, and I didn't have time to do it when we actually hit 1,000 because that was right before Halo Escalation 6, and I think my subscriber, I think you guys would agree that probably took a little precedence. But, nonetheless, I want to thank everybody. Um... As I could not think of what to do, I decided to combine it with something else. We're gonna, I'm gonna think of it as my Halo Collection Part 2. Just show off some of the other stuff that I didn't get to show off last time and a few other acquisitions I've made since then. So, um, first off, thank you everybody who's subscribed so far. Uh, I think we're up to actually 1,100 at this point, uh, or damn close to it. Uh, and it's really exciting. You know, just before E3, I, I was, I've been betting that that would happen. You guys made it possible. Thank you so much. I would be nothing without you. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. Okay, so let's get right into it. A few of these things you guys have seen before in other videos. We'll get a close up. Here's the UNSC recruitment poster from Halo 4: Forward Under Dawn. Stumbled across this at a shop called Fye when I was looking for some Christmas presents back in December, and, you know, <laughs> who the hell could pass that up, right? And I love that it's in cardboard, sort of in case, so I don't have to worry about <laughs> hanging it on my dwindling wall space. Anyway, here we got the Halo Clicks. A couple of these you've seen already, such as Warthog and the Banshee, but I thought I'd pull out the entire collection this time. Bunch of Master Chief figures. Most of them taking their design cues from... Most of these figures take their design cues from Halo 2, but a couple from Halo 3. You know, there with the uh, assault rifle. Got Cortana, who's a little more Halo, Halo 3-esque, but... I don't know, it's like a mix between Halo 2 and Halo 3. Sentinels, UNSC Marines, got a few ODST figures. Our red and blue Spartans, it might be... I hope you guys can see it a bit better than I can on my screen. The backlight up there is kind of being an asshole. But I'll try and get close. Okay, so, yeah, active camo chief with sword. Got the Arbiter, few figures of him. Sentinel, I think we already said. Um, yeah, Flood figures. There's a very limited selection of them. One Elite Flood. Plenty of Sangheili, um, or Sangheili, whichever you prefer. Uh, most of them take their design cues from Halo 2, as you can see. These are not the Halo 3 style of Elites. I don't know if they ever made any that had Halo 3 style armor, but yeah. Um, Elite Ranger there, of course. <laughs> Plasma turret, Halo 2 style. A uh, couple grunts, a couple jackals. Uh, we did that. And the brutes in the back here. Uh, this one's based on a, actually a piece of Halo 2 concept art. Um, if I'm smart, I will insert that into the video at this point. Um, but we'll see. Uh, Halo th um, Brute Stalker. Brute, brute, uh, brute jump pack, a couple of hunters, and Prophet of Regret. Probably the rarest figure I have, maybe only after the Chief up here. But yeah, sadly, I was never able to get all as many figures as I probably would have liked when I was actually collecting them. But it's still a pretty, I like to think it's an impressive collection. Uh, before we head over to the comics, another new piece here that you may or may not have seen. Got uh, the Didact. Uh, from the Series 2 McFarlane figures. I'm not a huge on collecting them. I mean, I only got a few from, if you remember the last video, a few up there. But uh, this one I had, I absolutely had to get. <laughs> he wants out of the box, but he will never be out of the box. Because I will not remove him from the box. This is another one you guys have probably seen. Um, Sideshow Collectibles Halo CEA Master Chief. Only took them three years after the anniversary of Halo, but oh my god, it is beautiful. Look at the detail. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Got him with the needler because I think I think it was the needler at least cause it was the the um, the hands and whatnot. The weapons can all like be swapped out if I can. Well, you can see how it's kind of loose like that, but let's see if I can just get the arm off the air. So yeah, Chief's got no arm. You know what? I like it. Keeping it. <laughs> but anyway. Um, Get back in there. Okay. 
There we go. Um, but yeah, I think it was the Needler was the, like the exclusive from Sideshow, so I like to keep that one in there just because, you know, just because. Very nice texture detail all over the armor, the Needler, the needles, the firing mechanism. It's all beautiful. And all comes on this nice display right there, you know, for everyone. So, beautiful, beautiful piece of statue collectibleness. All right. And then over here, I talked about Halo Comics a bit last time. You can see over there I still got the, um, I'm oh, sorry, it might be a little hard to see if I can see if I can zoom in there. Come on. Stupid camera not working for me. And not focusing. Focus, damn it. Oh, well. Anyway, it's the Halo, you know, it's the Halo graphic novels that have released thus far. Anyway. Oh, there we go. So these, then, are the individual issues, which I have most of. A few of them I'm sadly missing, but... Yeah. So, start with the first one. We got Halo Uprising, which took two damn years, I believe it was, to release. At, so, like, 2009 or so was when this last issue released here. Second one... Or no. No. What was it? Yeah. Yeah, second one was uh, Halo... Halo Helljumper, which, sadly, I am missing issue three. And, you know, this far down the line, that's never going to fall into my lap, sadly. But, got most of them. You got Halo Bloodlines, which I do have all the issues for, thankfully. Thought I didn't at one point, but I do. They're nice. All preserved. Then, Halo Fall of Reach. So... I'm missing one from uh, Invasion, the final arc, but otherwise I got all of them, so Boot Camp, then uh, Covenant, uh, which is, you know, all Boot Camps uh, right up to the point where they get Colonel Watts, which, that's one thing I loved about this, is they actually develop Colonel Watts a bit, and despite what I've said about his writing in the past, that is, this is thanks to Brian Reed that we get that development. Then Covenant, which is uh, the Chief and other Spartans getting their armor, and then the, that first engagement over Chi City 4. And last but not least, of course, Invasion, which is the fall of Reach itself. Moving on, you got Halo Initiation, which... <laughs> quite the letdown, I am very sad to see. Look at that. Exciting lead-in to Halo Spartan Assault had nothing to do with it at all. Didn't I mean other than it kind of showing us Dave? I mean we we barely even see Davis. Q insert of the one scene he's in 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 Halo Initiation, but it does come with nice special edition um, co uh, or, uh, cover variant, which I have not opened since I got it. And then Halo Escalation, the ongoing series, which I am absolutely in love with at this point. Actually just finally picked this up today. I got a digital copy before just so I could get the review out. This one also has a special cover for issue one at least. Um, I believe it was Kenneth Scott did this, uh, you know, of Lydis, which is just, again, unopened. It's beautiful, high detail. For some reason, he's got no nose. <laughs> but no. Um, beautiful. Yeah, it is kind of Scott. There it is. I just, re I just found the signature. Okay. So, wait, does that say 2000? No, 2013. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a 2005 for a second. But no, so there's all the Halo comics. Um, I have to cut off here so I can get to the other stuff. Okay, we're back. And, well, here's actually the instruction. You can see there's different arm options for that, but anyway. Um, this is a very recent acquisition. Uh, I got Carter, Play Arts Kai. Um, as with all my Play Arts Kai, he will never come out of the box because I'm weird like that. Um, just kind of hiding off over here. Got the Flood Definitive Edition. Since there is one, I decided to pick it up. Got to have my all my definitive books. Uh, here we got some of the some stuff I got you know, for Christmas from 343, yeah, Kilo 5 badge, um, signed postcard from them, some codes, uh, Spartan Assault free thing, which was nice, got, so I, it was one of the ways I was able to get all the, all copies of Spartan Assault on, uh, 
oh, what was it, on every device. And probably the piece de resistance, I wish I'd had this laid out before, it was a beautiful shirt that came with everything, you know, for Halo, uh, Halo 4 shirt, which, you know, it looks like anything else until you turn it over, and there you go, 343 Industries, production crew. <laughs> Even though I, I really didn't have anything to do with Halo 4 other than moderation, that was pretty absent for its launch on the forums, but it's a beautiful, beautiful piece, it's wonderful fabric. Thank you so much, 343, if anyone there ever sees this video. But yeah, I love it. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you got the definitive guide for essential guide for Halo 4, which I think came out after my last video. Mortal Dictata on there. I'm thinking about giving it a reread just to see if maybe uh, I had some bias against it last time. Um, new Halo CE poster I've been meaning to hang from, you know, from uh, the PC version where the Chiefs got a. Uh, a fuel rod gun, which is only accessible in multiplayer, so that's kind of nice. And I think that's pretty much it for new stuff. Yeah, so time to shoot the outro. So that's it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching, and thank you everyone for subscribing. I, I don't, I think, I don't think I can say it enough. You guys are the only reason I'm, I've made it this far. And I expect this great journey, pun always intended, to continue for some time. Um, let's see, there was a couple things I want to say. Well, um, we're one week away from E3, so that's pretty awesome. Um, remember, get those questions in by this Friday, uh, just or just in general, as soon as, you know, if I get some after Friday and I haven't yet shot it, then I'll take them, obviously. But try and get them in on Friday, because I want Saturday, this upcoming Saturday is what I plan to shoot. The answer section of that video. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, showed everything off. Uh, said thank you to everybody. Made that e E3 reminder. Um, as, you know, stay tuned. The week of E3, it, like I said, if everything goes according to plan, especially that first Monday... I'll have lots of content to release, or at least a very big video to make about whatever gets discussed or uh, revealed at E3. Uh, at the very least, I'll be live tweeting, you know, and you know, catch it on Spike TV if you have that. IGN, I believe, is streaming it. Um, those media conferences and all the coverage and all that. Um, I believe Machinima will probably be doing some stuff. Uh, GameSpot, all those major companies. I'm looking forward to. The Halo news we might see there this year. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all once again. Thank you for watching this. And I'll see you at E3. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Also, please be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All your support is extremely welcome. Thank you all.